Welcome back everyone, today we're going to talk about data cleansing 100,000 records in less than 100 seconds with these processing times. Stay tuned to see how we achieve this. Hi, I'm Joe Hall. I do videos on data analytics, manipulating data and general tips to improve your data analytics skills. So hit the subscribe, like and bell button to see our future updates. Today, we will import this file and it has 100,000 records with some of the columns having errors. The goal is to find those errors, remove them and create a spreadsheet with the data error free. Right, so um, as you've probably guessed, the purpose of this video is to see um, a file which has a number of uh, errors in it that, and in the actual records you don't want to be included and what the logic in this code is going to do is actually clean out all that errors so i'll just take these first three there's a hundred thousand records so let's just go down here so there you go you can see there's a hundred thousand records in this file so this is the raw file we're working off i'm not going to go through each row but as you can see here in the first three lines we have these errors at the end of the files they could be in the middle it could be anywhere it doesn't have to be at the end the the logic will find it so the idea is to get rid of all these so yeah you can see another one there at the end of shoes and then there's another one there at and so this is the raw file that we're going to actually feed in so let's just quickly run through the there's three steps to this it reads in the raw file it then outputs an error file okay and what the error file does is it puts the errors into three new rows called error channel error product description error gender remember that this data set is a fictitious data set I've, i'm going to be using it in our machine learning uh, series so if you're into machine learning um i'll we'll put a link in the description to that to our playlist you can go through some of that as well uh but we're going to be using this as our next step um i think it's our fourth or fifth video okay so the logic when it runs through what it does is it creates these additional three columns and then i'll just it spits out the error so as you can see we've got the errors there right so we've got an error in web got errors here here and it just spits it out in this respective column so let's just widen this for you so you can see this so as you can see an error channel there's only one two three four okay and if i clear that and i get rid of this then there's obviously more errors here in product description okay but you'll also see there there's still the error there in channel so it's still captured there so in some scenarios you're going to have one error in one channel and some scenario you're going to have one error uh in um, across multiple columns okay and then what we'll do is we we'll also have errors in gender so we go to the logic you'll see all this and you'll be able to see exactly where this is all coming through all right so again error in the agenda so we see mail to some of these errors we don't want these um because this will impact potentially other issues down the road when we're processing this code so the idea is to get rid of all these put them into a clean sheet and then that's ready to be processed okay so we'll clean that so the code when we'll i get into it in a second uh what it will do is we'll spit out of spits out this file as i said and then when it's finished what it does is it creates one final file and it's the file with no errors so if we go in here there's nothing in there okay nothing in there okay and there's nothing in there so as you can see um if we go just widen this here for a second there's no errors here as so i was the first three if we go back here the first three in product description if we go back to the raw file there you go there was those three had errors in it but now in the clean file and the output okay they're gone so and this is all borne out the fact that the logic what it does i'm confident they're all gone is the fact that uh, the logic reruns and if they were still there it should come back in here and populate into these columns which they're blank so we we know that those all the errors from all the different columns on the different records are gone and that's run as i said again over a hundred thousand records all right so i'm just going to close these three files second close this and let that run close this all right so let's go back over here so we are in PyCharm here and basically the idea behind this is we created interfaces um, to basically create give you a better way to look at the values and it's like a windows based interface and this is all done through tweak obviously and it has these are the 
these are the setups for that so we have the root obviously and we have the canvas in here as well with the height and the width and the, the background color so this is the raw data so this to start off this is what is read in and this is the raw file that i one of the files i would have shown you there a second ago and it reads in that file okay and this this line here is all it's doing is it's essentially we're recording the speed time of this process from start to finish so we'll run this at the right at the end i want to go through the data cleansing and everything around it and, and basically how we find the errors and how we fix them and then we'll run it at the end okay so no one of the first checks is we've got a function here is basically using numpy we're just checking that the file exists because if the file doesn't exist or say this has a wrong name or anything it will throw out an error um, and we want to capture that error so we want to make sure the file exists and the file has a right name uh, in this instance raw file okay and it just basically goes to this statement and else and it's a message box if it's if it's message box if it's there and if it's not there obviously it shows out it's not there and we need to go off and investigate it and um, one of the windows uh, we have, if we just basically want to close it, you'll see that later on. It's basically when we click the button, this is just basically closing that window. But this is where we want to start off, and this is where we, this is the the meat and bones of this video. So I want to take you through all this, okay? So essentially, we've got a function here called find errors, and this find errors is basically run and executed on a button that's on the T printer window. Um, so what we've done is we've created an error list here as you can see now you can add to this error list as well so if you add to this error list you need to also just um, include it down here in these string extracts as well but basically this is our error list this is what we're checking for um, as I said you can add to it if need be now what we've done is so we are opening up this basically the first thing here is we're opening up this file called raw file and we're creating a new three new columns and these are the ones i showed you earlier on and these ones with the, all the errors in them and um, what we're basically saying is in those in those columns populate it with with the values from raw, the raw data channel but extracting any of these values okay so that's what that's coming for so these three new columns here basically into the, each of the ones in the actual raw file extract these values and then put the values into these this new three new columns okay then what we're doing here is we're just basically outputting it to um we're outputting it to that new excel file which is called the error file okay so there you go error file we looked at that earlier on and again we just call that export all right so that's just letting the name of the sheet that it goes into all right and then this here is basically what we want to do is we want to create a filter and the reason for this filter will become obvious later on but basically when we create the tqinter winter window we only want it to show the errors that are extracted through this so we're going to have a hundred thousand records and a lot of them are going to have blanks because not everything has an error so we don't want to show the blanks in the tqinter winter we only want to show the the, the rows the records that have these values in them and it could be one or more on that rec row record so that's fine but we don't want to see blanks and that's the reason for this line here okay and um, next thing we're going to make do is make a copy of the data frame um this is just purely to get uh, a data frame ready that we can feed into the tkinter window okay so all that's this is doing so we're, the most important thing here is we don't want this is all the data in the way we want it regards capturing of the errors now we want to format make a copy of that so that we can feed it into the data frame um that will feed it into the tkinter window which we'll see later on okay so all this is doing here this line here is we're just basically dropping the in the, within the error file here uh, in this new data frame we're just dropping these particular columns we don't need them um you can add them back in by just literally taking removing them and what will happen is in the output back into this error file these will be visible but they're not for this particular exercise they're not relevant if you were doing this in your own project you obviously decide what columns you need and what um ones you don't need and you basically work on that basis okay in place and true basically makes sure that when you actually export in this new data frame it updates the data frame okay all that that's doing okay so here we are 
these next this next couple of lines is all they're doing is for the window um, that we are basically creating which shows the outputs with the counts of the errors all right so when we the, the, later on when we run the program I'll show it to you here now actually we'll run it okay just give me a second um, so let's just run this here so it's give me a second now this takes less than 100 seconds in total now this bit should take a little bit less okay so I'm gonna close this after this is run but just to show you the output all right okay so there's the logic to check for the file okay so just this is fine all right let's let this run for a second come up for you now remember this is running over a network and this is going on to OneDrive Microsoft OneDrive so this is kind of mimicking a little bit of real life scenario where you're kind of maybe on a network drive and work or you're accessing data off a server somewhere not on site or it could be on site but basically mimicking that a little bit so as you can see here these these particular rows here on here okay down basically to sums all the rows together what we're doing is we're renaming um the error column here um so that it can be included in the output and then we're basically creating resetting the index as well okay so this basically sets the error column not as an index but makes it visible because if you don't do that you're just going to have the error column with no column name all right um all these next steps are basically the creation of the frame to show you all this so this is your kind of this is your step first step of basically finding all the errors creating them in a data frame summing and counting them and then bringing them in here okay and give them your totals so when we see at the end when we run this this would be a totally different okay um and that's going to be in the next um function show method i'm going to show you in a second so at this point we found all our errors we've populated them a data frame and we have put them on to a tk inter window output for viewing all right so it makes it a little bit easier to see than if you were basically going to see them on an Excel spreadsheet. You see there, the output's a little bit easier. And also, if you want to distribute this within your work environment, you can create an executable, and that can be, other people can use this application as well. So just a couple of things, finally here, we've, as I said, we've, this here section is create scroll bars. Um, we basically want, what we want to do is join all the errors we found back up here. We want to join together so we can see them all in the output. And then we have a loop here, which basically looks in all the column values and then populates all those column values in each row, um, basically to show the values here. Okay, so all this is more, this is more getting the output window we just have here ready get it formatted correctly and have it in this your frame here and basically that's the steps that are involved to go and see how you would take 100,000 records and basically go and I'll just go back here sorry my apologies your 100,000 records how you would see them and then how you would uh, view them on a win tk inter window because it makes it easier as i said so that's the first step of finding the data formatting it getting it onto tk inter window viewing the issues so our next step is then we're actually going to move to is data cleansing so now we've gone through finding the problem let's look at how to fix the errors To get new video releases and news editors straight to your inbox, remember to subscribe here and check your spam folder as there's one final step to confirm your email and then we're ready to go. So in the previous step, we would have seen um, as part of the whole process to create the tkinter window, open up the, the raw file with the errors in it, find the errors 
and create a tkinter winter window to show you those errors okay so on that previous window there would have been a button called find errors right and the whole idea about that is when you click that it goes through a process it runs through a cell of logic which is here to cleanse the data then what it will do is create your final output so this is as you'll see it's very very similar to the previous window but now what it has done is it's gone through the raw file cleansed the data and actually just output this window again to show you that the, the new file the final file which is with all the, the fixed data on it has no errors because basically the error is showing blanks because that's looking at the error channel and it's checking for the number of errors okay um and the type of errors so there's no errors that we previously looked for at the very first step so that's basically a good and that's what we want to see and again it's a hundred thousand records um, on each column we created so i know that on each column created it's looked over the hundred thousand records and it's found no errors but how do we do this so let's just that's what you're here for so let's have a look at this okay so when the um when the file when i find errors is run um it basically goes so let's just find the button here where it is so yeah um yeah correct errors so you see here there's a command called correct errors okay and if we go down here okay and when so that that's linked to that correct that's a button on that screen which says fix errors should I say it wasn't find error fix errors and it runs this command called collect correct errors okay and the correct errors is this command here base this function uh, basically says go off and run cleanse data so this is the core of what you want to your interest what you're here for to learn so it basically goes back into the file and uh, with the errors in it and it basically looks at each one so we had earlier on a string extract okay but now what it's doing is it's looking at this list L here. Okay, the list L should be, yeah, this list L here. And this is exactly the same list that you would have had up previously up above when you're trying to find the errors. So it's important to keep all these lists in tandem. If you're adding to one or taking away from one, add to one or take away from the other. Okay, so basically goes into that list. And it does a string replace based on each value in L um, that's found for each value of i it's found an l right so basically what it's doing is it's looking at the error file and it's saying hey let's let's look at raw data let's let's look at raw data well actually it's looking at the raw data which is the original file and basically it's going into the channel and then it's basically doing a string replace and it's basically looking at each element so i1 uh, i2 all the way to nine are basically just these values here Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and this one here, 9. Okay, so in each each row here, it's basically going into each of the channel product description and gender because that's what we identified earlier on as the columns we wanted to check for errors. Now, you can obviously add to that if you were to use this code. Basically, for each one, basically doing a replace. So whenever it finds the error, it basically takes it out and replaces it with a blank essentially okay then what it does here is it goes down and creates the counts okay again it creates the counts like we did in the um what we did in the previous section so that gives you what gives you what gives you these values here 100,000 okay of blanks okay it creates the counts here and it basically puts them into this fixed fixed one two and three these are kind of three data frames what we want to do is we'll merge them here that's what the concat's doing and then just a small final step here what this line is doing is it's crazy setting each one as an integer so we have the numbers there okay and then it just creates the total again like we did in the previous section when we were actually looking for the errors and then what we're doing is we're as i showed you at the very start we're exporting all this data into the file called clean file okay and basically that's it all this here is doing 
is basically down again where it's creating the window and it's basically creating a function here if you want to close it and basically what it's doing is reading in the data so it's reading the clean file data and it's creating and formatting the frame so the frame again to hold this information here okay and it's creating any widgets and it's basically a scrolling of need be remember i have a hundred thousand records so i've limited the amount of errors found here but i could have 20 or 30 sort of records so you need a scroll bars that basically will allow you to scroll up and down if that window had gotten much larger okay and then it's just looping through again and then it's this this code here is just to align to center align the code and then there's a just creates the button close which is this button here okay so in essence that is the code the actual the logic between the two between finding the errors and output them onto a sheet and then fixing the errors and then putting them on the sheet is actually very very simple actually if you were to think about it the major diff the, my the major differences is is in fixing the code so originally i had string extract here now it's string replace but all the everything else around creating the um data frames creating the tk into window windows and the canvas and everything like that up to all this code here is actually pretty much the same so and that's our logic today to um create a tk into window um read through file 100 with 100,000 records find the errors then export that to a file and then reread re that file and then correct the files and export a final file with no errors. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll be having um, some more of these coming soon. Um, remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Really appreciate it and talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. We're at the end of this video. So if you enjoyed, check out these videos and we'll see you soon for another update.